Sandeep, how has the pandemic affected your business? How many brides and families were you dressing up last year? And where's the number now? Uh, the number is very, I mean, last year was wonderful at this point of time. Um, things were beginning to pick up at this point of time. It was a slow, it started off as a slow year last year too. But by this time, things are hotting up and getting exciting. But this year has just been a disaster. We are climbing walls, climbing trees, climbing everything possible. Because one doesn't know, one, one, um, we employ at least 600 people at any point of time. And to just get everybody going, especially the labor, the, the karigar, to keep them going, to keep them going through the pandemic has been a task and a half. Uh, the, hopefully the year, we've got inquiries into November now and November and early next year. Because also there's so much uncertainty amongst clients. Also they don't know, places are not taking bookings, weddings are going to be 50 people and not or 200 people and not 1,000 people. So every, everything's being replanned, reimagined, reorganized. Uh, to me, I think for Abu Jani Sandeep Khosla as the brand, as a top end brand, I think we gain to benefit a little bit because people will get, will ask for much better quality today. Uh, uh, you know, when do you think work will pick up and how will you practice social distancing in a business like yours with Karigars and uh, and the brides coming in, you know, they'll want to come to the store at some point. So what, we, what we're already doing at the moment is, you know, we, we take appointments at the stores rather than having just random walk-ins. Walk-ins come in once in a while, but for brides, we're taking, firstly, we're doing video calls with each one of them. And then they come into the store specifically with a specific time allotted to them. So there's nobody else in the store at that time. Okay. And um, so, in terms of numbers, you said it's down drastically, which is down for everybody. I spoke to Vandana yeah. Mohan, the wedding planner. She said her business is down to 2% of last year's. So um, I mean, if you could give a percentage of how low is business compared to last year? We must be down uh, 90% from last year. And, I mean, it's uh, as drastic as that. Yeah. So once the pandemic is over, people, you know, will look for, uh, there will be a new normal uh, a few months down the line. Keeping that in mind, are you changing your lines in any way, the, the craftsmanship, the work? Are you going to change it around? So, so we have Abhiyari Zimbabwe as our main label, which will remain with the philosophy the way it is. We have Asil as a, as a, as a diffusion label in between which will change a little bit. We'll make it lighter, make it uh, maybe change it around a little bit, you know. But, uh, and Gulabo is a Pret label, which will also change. We'll, we'll, we'll peter it down further to make it cheaper and more accessible to people. I feel the, the mother brand of AGSK should not change its philosophy at this point of time. And uh, are the brides wanting different things at this point of time or not really? I think the brides are looking more and more towards classic today. Something that they want to have an investment. AJSK is always been an investment piece, but now they want more and more an investment piece, not a trendy piece. So I think the trendy bride is uh, going to be in for a shock for a little while. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because the, the bride will become more conventional, more classic, and uh, it will be again a repeat garment which she can wear any time in her life again. As opposed to being, as opposed to being the big Cinderella bride. They will be a, they'll be a more controlled bride, I think. What's your We're, advice what's to happen? everybody out there who's unemployed? Just hang in, hang in there. Uh, think of something else creative that you can do in the meantime. But just hang in there. Things will get normal. Fingers crossed. Toes crossed. Everything crossed. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.